What's up everybody? My name is Joe Babiak. I'm a professional musician from the US, currently living in Europe. I made a name for myself as a drummer, though this video is all about trumpets. Recently, I set out on this quest to find a new trumpet for myself, just being re-inspired to get back into it. I played all throughout school, and I wanted to show just all the different trumpets that I played from different companies here in Europe. It's funny because in the beginning, I was just looking to try out one particular uh, trumpet that existed, a newer company, and then it opened the floodgates, and then I, it was six months of... Uh, dragging my wife all over Europe to um, try out all these different horns. This is in no way an uh, in-depth product review of any particular horn. They're just little snippets uh, from each example. But uh, I thought this could be useful for um, those of you who are looking for new horns right now and maybe not aware of certain models or certain manufacturers. Hope you enjoy this. Hope it's useful. If you have any questions, write, comment. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. So we are testing the Lotus trumpets. First time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Back at it again, checking out Adams today. take a look at my first custom horn. So this is the A4 0.45 bell large bore satin matte finish. No scratches, nothing. I Oh, you can see that's more red. Oh, it, it matches this more, yeah? Yeah. 
definitely want to maybe grab a couple of the other ones too. <laughs> the gold brass A10, I don't like it. Really? Because it is like the A10, but without this is it? bright shimmer that makes it so special. But is it still so buttery? It's like a, no, it's like a dull version of the A10. And the hybrid is like the A10, but darker. It is it's darker. Really, yeah, it's really like a... Darker then, even than the gold brass version? Totally. The more you go to the right, the more you go towards the A4 and away from the A10, the more core you get. Yeah, but th this this has a lot of core, the, the yellow brass. Yeah, but I mean this dark, this real dark... So this is by far the darkest. Yes. And the hybrid, the more you play it, the more I like it. Because <coughs> darkness to it, but also a strong... Clarity? Clarity, yeah. So he said, so if you put a gold brass bell on this yeah. with the shepherd's crook, yeah. that's 0. 0.50 with the, um, and I understand what he's saying because this has a little brush and the lacquer gets in there so it darkens it up a little bit too. It does take it more over to this mm -hmm. without ever becoming this. You could also try the hybrid with the shepherd's crook. Because I feel if you But I don't think they the have bell, that. Because I think the bell gets thinner it, when... If this bell is spun out this big, then it actually gets thinner, right? I would think how you can modify the hybrid or the A4, which means like either the hybrid has like a thicker bell or a shepherd's crook, or you put on the A4 um, a thicker bell. That would be where I... This, is what, this is what I'm thinking. I want this horn, perhaps with the bell from this, the gold brass version of this bell. But this is the gold brass, isn't it? It is. So there's not a big difference, it's just small. Well, I don't know, somehow it's giving more articulation. Yeah, it's just, it's just that sound. Hello everyone, today is Friday, September 27th, 2019. And today is a very special day for me because I am picking up my brand new custom Adams trumpet here at the Adams store. And I am just so impressed and so grateful for all the work with the whole team here um, for what they've done in, in making a trumpet that has all the features that I wanted. This is an A4 gold brass 0 .50 gauge bell with a polished inside. This is a brushed, lacquered finish. You can see some of the brush patterns perhaps on the bell. It has a shepherd's crook here. We have two Amato spit valves on the third valve slide and the tuning slide. The first and third valve slide, I worked with them. I came in and they custom fit these for my hand, so it's just so comfortable to hold this horn. For the valve caps, I have the natural abalone inlays, which are beautiful. What else can I say about this? It plays awesome, it sounds amazing. I'll play a little something here. I'm in heaven. It's wonderful. Thank you to everyone here at Adams. Thank you, Meal. Thank you, Hans. Thank you for making this wonderful instrument. And I'd like to thank my wonderful wife for her patience and support from the start of our trumpet search to today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Joe Babiak out. Oh. <laughs>